Okay, so let's talk about how we build strength in the connections or synapses within our nervous system through the process of long-term potentiation. Long-term potentiation is a long-lasting strengthening of synapses between nerve cells as a result of stimulation. This long-term synaptic plasticity is what allows us to mold the nervous system through our application of clinical neuroscience in our office. So we're going to start with a presynaptic neuron. This presynaptic neuron contains vesicles which contain glutamate, an excitatory neurotransmitter that is key to the activation of receptors on the postsynaptic membrane that are responsible for long-term potentiation. When the presynaptic neuron is stimulated, we have a release of glutamate into the synapse. Glutamate can now bind to the receptors located on the postsynaptic neuron. There are two receptors that we're concerned with when we're discussing long-term potentiation. These are the NMDA receptors and the AMPA-type glutamate receptors. It is important to note here that the NMDA receptors contain a magnesium plug, and this plug blocks the passage of sodium, potassium, and most importantly, calcium through the channel. In order for the magnesium plug to pop off and allow ions to flow through, we have to have depolarization of the postsynaptic membrane. This is accomplished through the activation of AMPA receptors, resulting in a strong influx of sodium and depolarization to occur. When the postsynaptic membrane becomes depolarized, the magnesium ions are now expelled from the NMDA pore. This allows sodium, potassium, and of course calcium to now pass through. So to re-elaborate this, NMDA receptors can only conduct a current when both glutamate is present and the postsynaptic neuron is depolarized. In other words, both the pre- and postsynaptic neurons need to be active to open NMDA receptors and drive synaptic plasticity. Once calcium has entered the cell, we now have two forms of long-term potentiation that can occur. In early long-term potentiation, calcium binds to kinases and causes the cell to produce more AMPA receptors. These receptors are transported to the postsynaptic membrane and cause an increase in sensitivity to future depolarizations, strengthening the connection between the neurons. In late long-term potentiation, calcium binds to different transcription factors, such as the CAMP response element binding protein, resulting in an increase in gene expression, an increase in protein synthesis, and an increase in synaptogenesis. This process is what we call long-term potentiation and is what drives synaptic plasticity in our nervous system. To learn how to harness the power of long-term potentiation clinically, make sure to visit kerriginstitute.com.